Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Richard Schneem and we're talking about active record and grouping. Let's go ahead and get started. If we have a product table and we group by price, if we count that price, basically we are saying, hey, SQL, give me all of my products, but I want them arranged by in groups of prices. So if two things have a similar price, group them together or the same price. So if two things cost a dollar, then group them in the in in that same bucket, and then I can go ahead and count all of those all in one query, just with Ruby and our database. So this uh, generates a SQL query, and you can actually see here that we have a group by price clause. If I when I go ahead and I hit enter, I take a look at the result of this. We're going to see a hash, which is a little bit different from what we've seen previously. It's not a product. It's not an array of products. It's not nil. Uh, it's a hash. So what what do these values represent? On the left hand side, we're going to have our group. So this is the thing that we grouped by. So this is going to be our price. So we are saying of the things that cost $595 in our database, if we count them, there are two of them. Of the things that cost $596 in our database, if we count them, there are three of them. So I like using group for some some metrics. Uh, we can get some really interesting insights into um, common things inside of our database. And uh, so grouping and counting is, is very common. One other thing we can use group for, one other thing we can use group for is for uh, selecting individual elements. So here, if we are pulling a product that the name is equal to widget, we can then put that and see we get back a number of different products. There are a number of products named widget in this uh, result set. So instead, if we we're searching by widget and then we're also grouping by name, we're or then take a look at the output, it's it's still going to come back to us as an array set, but uh, there's only going to be one element in that, and it's, it's going to be that first element. So it is a way for us to use and just get distinct values. If you want, you can also use distinct. Uh, so again, here we have our product.where name is widget. Uh, we can use the distinct function, distinct operator. I'm actually not sure what you'd classify it as inside of our count function. So you can use distinct and then specify that name is the thing you want to be distinct. Also, if you prefer just straight Ruby, the count function takes a options hash at the end of it. So we can pass in distinct true. Um, so maybe you like that one, maybe you like the one before it. Either way, it's going to say, all right, we care only about the name. Um, so only count the name where we that is distinct. So this is going to, if you if you get some kind of funny numbers and maybe you're doing some joins or, or something along those lines, you might want to use uh, use distinct or group to remove some of those duplicate elements. All right, uh, this next section we're going to talk about is having. We can't use group or we can't use having without group. So uh, stay tuned.